Good morning. It is Wednesday, July 31st, day 36. I am walking through Pala, Palas, Pala de Re to find the Camino because my albergue is off the Camino. Um, but I think it's just right up here in the center of town. Oh, my shin is hurting today. So that is no bueno. I don't know what's going on with it. Um, but I hope after warming up and walking for a bit, it'll clear itself up. We'll see. Um, today I am going 22 and a half kilometers to a tiny little town. Waiting for the truck to go by. <laughs> Called Castaneda. I didn't want to walk another longer day all the way to Arzua, which is the traditional stage. Um, yesterday, by the time I ended up getting here and doing my couple little errands, I think I walked close to 27 kilometers, which is kind of, you know, in the upwards, upwards of my limits. Um, anything over 25 really is just sort of stresses my body out. So that's what I've discovered about myself on the Camino. Um, so, I'm going to Castaneda. I'm staying in this little, like, country boarding house, which sounds really cool. And I think that there's a meal, home-cooked meal in my future. Gosh, there's so many trucks this morning on this road through this town. Okay. It's super loud, so I'm going to get on the road. See you along the way. These things are called oreos and they're used to store grain and corn for farm animals and they're all over Galicia. Apparently the longest one is like 35 meters long or something. I think it's out by the coast. sudden started walking through these trees it's windy there are leaves on the ground it's kind of cool and there's it's like the quality of air and light that happens in the fall so it all of a sudden felt like autumn which is really bizarre so in the last little bit I was thinking about this yoga concept called a parigraha which means non-attachment and I think that's a, a good reminder uh, to practice that on the Camino, to not get attached to walking with certain people, to walking certain distances, for the Camino to be a certain way. Um, I would encourage you, if you're walking the Camino, to do what feels right for you. 
it's great to meet people along the Camino and to stay in touch with them and to want to reconnect with them and to even want to walk with them every day. But you also need to listen to yourself and listen to your body. And if your body's telling you that you need a slower pace or you need to do fewer kilometers than your walking partner, then you should listen to your body. And you know, those people, you'll always have that special connection with them and you'll always have the opportunity maybe to see them again and meet them uh, other places in the world. So just, that's on my mind today, a parigraha, letting go, non-attachment, not being so attached to things, being a certain way, not being so attached to people. Um, yeah, Camino thoughts for the day. So I have a few kilometers to Melide, which is a huge, not huge, but it's one of the, it's the, the biggest town I'm passing through today. It's got a lot of restaurants and things, so I'll probably stop there for a little bit. I still have some blueberries and red pepper from my dinner last night so I'm gonna eat that I might just get like some more bread or a croissant or something and just do a simple simple little lunch I still have about 11 and a half kilometers to go it is 11:24, but no rush right I mean I'm sort of expecting to get there between three and four which works for me so slow and steady stopping every three kilometers it's the way to go So I'm in this little country lodge outside of Castaneda, a little bit off the Camino. I don't think anyone is here but me. Um, she's going to do dinner for me at 7. But the power went out like 20 minutes after I arrived. So I can't use the Wi-Fi. I can't charge my phone. The water is connected to the electricity. So... I can't wash my clothes. I can't take a shower. I'm not really sure when it's going to go back on. <laughs> and she's like, like she checked me in and she was like, there's your room. And then she like ran away. So I have no idea where she is. Um, and there's no storm, no rain, no wind, nothing. I, don't, I have no idea why the power went out. So I'm just like <laughs> hanging out in the bed. I guess I'll like try to take a nap or something or just read or but I don't want to use too much power on my phone if the power doesn't come back on but I'd, I'd really like to take a shower that would be nice after walking for nine hours today um this has happened like three or four times now where the places I've stayed the power has gone out now one time it was because of that really bad storm in Molina Seca but the other times it's just like I don't know if it's like an infrastructure issue or what, but 
that's great when you can't take a shower or wash your laundry or do anything. Hopefully, I'm still getting dinner. I have no idea. So, I'm just hanging out. Today's walk was really beautiful. It was a lot of woods. Just really great. Lots of dirt paths. Awesome. It was a struggle, though. I was, ooh, the last five kilometers. I was really struggling. I was starting to get that spasmy thing in my leg and my legs and toes just feeling almost it's hard to describe but when my body gets to the point where it's done it starts almost feeling like my body is separate from me if that makes any sense whatsoever um so lots of sits today i had a great great um best seats on the camino photo essay for patricia that i put together <laughs> in our whatsapp group so that was fun um Okay, yeah, so that's the update. I guess I'm just going to rest and chill out and hope the power goes back on and hope there's dinner at 7 because I'm hungry and I'm trying to eat through all my snacks so that I, you know, because I'm at the end here so that I don't have any extra stuff hanging around. Um, tomorrow, I have a long day. I think about 25 kilometers into Pedruzo. I was trying to look at the map, so I am like, so the Camino goes along, I took a turn to the right, went up to the main highway, and that's where this little country house is, but I think I can take the main highway, there's a little sidewalk to the side of it, I think I can take that and then another road and connect back down to the Camino rather than like backtracking, so I think I'm going to try that in the morning, see how it goes, just follow the maps. And then, yeah, I've got, you know, same old kind of thing, small little Galician towns. Um, I do pass through Arzua, which is the traditional, you know, Briarly stage stop where a lot of people were going today. Um, that's in like four kilometers from here. And then it's just small towns all the way to Pedruzo, which is also a small town. Then I will be 19 kilometers away from Santiago. Sora sent me a message um, be right before the power went out that she made it to Santiago. She sent me this awesome photo of her, so I'm so happy for her. But she's leaving to walk to Finisterre on Friday. So I will not get to see her, which is so sad. And I will be in Finisterre Saturday and then walking out of Finisterre Sunday, and she will not yet be there. So that is a shame. But, you know, you're just like passing ships in the night um but it's still cool to stay connected as I was talking about earlier and I really do plan on hopefully going to Korea and visiting Sora one day and having her show me around and going to Ireland to see the Irish girls so yeah okay I'm gonna save the power on my phone because I have no idea when the electricity is gonna go back on so talk to you later bye